got coffee from that really famous place behind the Pantheon, San, San Eustachio, okay? I had coffee there. It's regarded as like one of the best coffee shops in Rome. And uh, I had coffee there. I'm gonna be honest with you, up front, I wasn't that impressed. But I got their beans, so let's see what it's like. Um, first things first, the packaging. It's just a paper bag, no valve on it. Nothing like the local coffee roaster I go to here in America where they have perfect bags, foil sealed with the valve. It's very nice, but let's give it a shot. I've got my Breville Barista here. I want to show you some of the beans here in my hand. You can tell that they're pretty medium, not dark roasted. They're, the beans themselves are very even. Okay. Double shot. I'm gonna set it to about 11. All right, this is what the beans look like after they've been ground. I'm gonna get my distribution tool and distribute it. And then we're gonna tamp it. This is 19 grams of beans. I'm gonna go for a one to two ratio um, and see how that tastes. I'm expecting this to be a little bit sour um, just from how it smells. And um, it's a little bit lighter roast. So maybe if, nine, if one to two doesn't work out, I may go for a longer ratio. Okay. <laughs> My son's helping out in the background. Yeah, basket. it is a food basket. Uh, I'm gonna aim for 38 to 40 grams. I've got my scale on there. Let's see what kind of pressure we get. I may have ground too coarse. Nice, we're getting good pressure on here. Right in the espresso range. And we're getting nice crema. Okay. So I'm gonna mix this up and give it a taste. So we've got a nice layer of crema on top. These do look to be, there's no roasting date on there also. So I think, I assume they're fresh, but who knows. Anyway, let's give it a taste. I personally don't like sour coffee. I like the rich, thick, chocolatey espresso personally. It's somewhere in between. So my son's helping out again, but it's somewhere in between. So I, I, I taste some notes of sourness, but I taste some chocolate, but the sourness is a little bit overwhelming. It's not an unpleasant coffee. So there's two types of coffee drinkers, I think. And espresso drinkers tend to be more on the side of we want our dark, chocolatey, rich, kind of strong taste. And whereas a lot of lighter roast people like to be do pour overs and they like the more fruity notes like blueberry, orange, those sort of things. This is somewhere in between. It doesn't really hit you with that like really chocolatey, um, robust flavor. It's, it's a little light, it's a little uh, fruity, it's a little sour. I personally would say it's somewhere middle of the pack for me. It, it, it doesn't shine in any one particular category, so neither camp is gonna be happy, I think. but it's not terrible. So what do I think? Pretty average coffee. Probably not worth the price. I don't think it's 100% Arabica on. Uh, I think there's a mix of Robusta in there. And I think generally a uh, overhyped place.